This electric pit bike is pushing more voltage than my stock Tilaria Sting. And today, we're gonna figure out what that's all about. Follow along. <laughs> Plenty of power coming up here. I just picked up this 72 volt pit bike from Rips Moto and my first reaction is that this thing is insane. For reference, both the Talaria and Surong come stock with a 60 volt battery. So putting 72 volts into this tiny 110 frame has some crazy potential. The Rips Moto pushes five kilowatts and 28 amp hours, which is gonna be less than your stock Talaria, but considering it's in this tiny 110 frame, I think that's gonna be plenty. Check this out. Doing a quick look around, I think this bike actually has some really nice style. I love the red accent with the white body kit. I think it looks really good. It's gonna come stock with these pro taper bars, which is awesome coming right out of the box. Looking at this fork, it comes with the DNM, which I think is really nice, as well as here in the rear shock, you also have the DNM. And then you have your battery that sits back in here. I really like this metal plate that they put over to cover it up. Here's the charging port, very similar to the Telario, which just plugs in and twists. Keys going to the front here kind of nice and out of the way. Essentially, you're gonna have three different modes. Mode one, two, or three. I wanna see exactly how this thing feels on the road, how it feels off-road, and do a little bit of testing right here. I have a feeling I'm gonna get on it. I'm gonna press the throttle, and that front wheel is just gonna to wanna to lift right up. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's go. First thoughts. This bike is small, but it actually feels pretty good. You can now race these bikes in the 65 class for the kids, and more kids than ever are coming out to race those little Stasic bikes. They're coming to race these, which I think is so cool. Got this bike from the Edge Power Sports. The Edge is such a cool shop because they carry all of the gas-powered bikes you could want, and now they're starting to fill up their store with electric as well. Go check them out in Draper, Utah if you're ever around. I think it's going to be a pretty fun ride today. It's going to put you in just mode two right off the bat. It's got so much torque and that's the second power mode. Just how fast does this thing go? Let's do a speed test on all the different modes. So this is mode one. This is gonna be your slowest mode. In three, two, one. Okay, so not too much get up and it only goes about 13 miles per hour in this mode. Let's see what it does when I up the power to two. I'm gonna go a little bit further back this time. Three, two, one. Oh yeah, that's some more. Front tire comes off, 21, 23. Okay, 24 miles an hour. That was a lot more power. I actually wasn't expecting that. I'm kind of scared to know what mode three is gonna be like. Like, am I gonna just totally wheel you out? Okay, mode three. Ready, set, go. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm gonna like put my feet back. It just wanted to wheelie over when I gave it full throttle. Okay, let's try that again. I'm actually gonna drag my feet, see if that helps. Real quick, I wanna let you guys know, the day I get to a thousand subs, I'm gonna be giving away this Liat 8.0 helmet to one of you. Yes, I know it looks just like mine, but this is brand new. I get a lot of questions about it, so I wanted to say thank you by giving it away. Also, the day I hit 25,000 subs, I'm gonna be giving away my Telaria. So if you're enjoying this content, please like and subscribe, and keep enjoying the video. You. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Full speed test, 30, 31, 32. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That is some power. This is way more fun than a gas powered 110. Yeah, I think 33 is gonna be my top speed. I bet there's some like 10 year olds out there who are just ripping these things. And I saw online, there's some nine year old doing backflips. I know he's on an electric dirt bike. I don't think it's the Rips Moto. That's such a cliche. I can't believe what the kids are doing, but it's true. They're just getting better and better and it's kind of scary. So there's a zone right up here that I think is just gonna be absolutely perfect to test this thing out. First little hill climb. Woo. Oh, check this jump out right here. Woo. Oh, let's see how it feels. Plenty of power coming up here. Plenty of power. It's actually, since the bike is so small, it's really fun, holy crap. I've only been up here one other time on my Talaria, and this is a whole different experience. Since the bike is so small, it feels really squirrely. Even the slower speed feels fast. These brakes are really touchy. They're better than the Talaria brakes, but I think that's just because the bike is so much smaller. Stay right here, go left, up through this system. Oh, look. It looks like it's an old deer trail or an old, some kind of old trail system. Oh, look at that jump. That thing's actually pretty big. Could you imagine hitting that? My guess is it's for like a, a downhill mountain bike or something. Ooh, we got some sand right here. Should we do some donuts? 
<laughs> I want to see how it climbs up some of the steeper hills. Torque, baby. Here we go. Oh, no problem whatsoever. Just carving up through there. See how it feels down through some of the single track. Whoa, bird! I think that was a hawk. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. Just flowing down this. Oh yeah. I love that sound. Let's listen to the. That sound is growing on me, I gotta say. You skirt. What's back in there? Oh look, a little fort right there. People get so creative. Man, I love stuff like this. Surprised some animal hasn't made that their home. This is like the ultimate teenager spot. If I was in high school right now, this is where I'd be hanging out all the time. I love just exploring on these electric bikes. The places they'll take you. I'm honestly extremely pleased with how this thing has handled itself. This is definitely the funnest pit bike I've ever ridden. It's gonna be different than a Tulare or Suron. I think they serve different purposes, right? I think that anyone who gets it is gonna love just being able to rip it around the neighborhood, maybe the pit tracks at a race, or just on some local trails. I'd love to actually take it around like a purpose-built pit track. I can only imagine that would be a blast. All right, well, there you have it. I just got back from testing out the 72 volt Rips Moto. I had so much fun ripping around on those trails and also just riding around on the streets. Like you saw, that front tire really wants to come off the ground. So you just gotta keep your weight forward and it's a ton of fun. I would highly recommend getting you one of these. They're a little pricey, but they might be worth it. So if you like this content, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.